Hello. Hi, y'all. Welcome to my Wednesday sale. Say hi if you're out there. We're in the house. David's helping me today. I'm the helper. Yeah. I don't know where it's live at. If it is on um, Facebook. It's on Facebook. Oh, I don't see it. I have it. Always, never fails. Who's in the house? Say hi, y'all. We're here by ourselves right now, waiting for some people to come and hi. Hi, Denise. You're the first one here. <laughs> a lot of the uh, others are still at uh, Mimi's Treasures. She's having a live sale. Hi, Missy. We're getting a late start on everybody getting here, and I'm hoping nothing, we don't lose power or anything because it's storming outside. I think it's over. It's over. I heard a lot of thundering going on. Hi, Chris. Oh, look, Chris remembers my name, Tim Tam. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Are we hot enough yet? Are we what? Is it hot enough yet outside? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The only thing I was hoping about that is uh, this rain coming, that it would uh, cool it down. I don't have Tam Tam juice tonight. I got wine, which is probably going to make me hotter. Well, y'all just uh, talk to me a minute. We're waiting for people to come in. If more people do come in. <laughs> oh, they will. Yeah, yeah good so. stuff. Yeah, I know, Missy. It takes a while for things to warm up. And uh, and I end up just re-sewing it at the end. Yeah, me and Missy are going to plan to do another sale together. She wants to do another sale. And we're going to also figure it out, Missy, so you can also do it on your channel, too. So, hey, and um, tomorrow, for a few of y'all here, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all while we're waiting. Um, tomorrow, we're having a, I'm having a sale with um, a Vintage Conversation and Tacky as Me. It's two Texans with a little tacky on the side. <laughs> That's going to be tomorrow night on Vintage Conversations channel. So, if you're not friends with her, Go check it out. I will be posting it as well. So y'all know where to go. But Vintage Conversation, Mar Miss Martha, it'll be on her channel. Hello, Judy. Um, and then we have our our um, Vintage After Dark uh, sell and chat on, uh, on my channel on Friday with uh, Christina Taylor. And, and whoever wants to join us, if y'all ever want to join us on Friday night, I'll take one or two people in. I just send me an email if you'd like to join us just for the chit chat. If you have something to sell, you can join us for that. But if you just want to chit chat and be a live commentator, then, hey, that'd be great. Because I like talking to people, which he's still learning how to do that. You know. I'm the quiet. I'm he, strong, silent type. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know how long our delay is. So, hey, Judy, where are you from? Are you new? Chris says it's hot and muggy over there where she's at.
So if you're in the chat, say hi. I want to see who's here. And then catch up with Sonia. <laughs> Let's see if she shows up. Angie, we're always having fun. <laughs> hi, Angie. Our middle name is fun. Let's see. How do we have fun tonight? <laughs> and Judy is new. Okay, you're new to me. Are you also, are you new or familiar with uh, online YouTube sales? I thought you looked new. But <laughs> glad to have you. She's so, so shiny and bright. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have fun tonight. I got some wine. If I don't fall asleep first. <laughs> so we have a new family member. Um, oh, I was saying like we do? Yeah. He's sleeping right now. Our daughter brought home a kitten from her job. She basically saved him. He's wandering the parking lot. A little tiny kitten. Hi, hey. LJ. You need to talk louder. He is. He's this big. He's that big. <laughs> and he already rules the house. He's, he's a sleeper, though. He's sleeping on it. We're in the toy room right now. And I made I have a, one of those vintage uh, wooden bunk beds uh, for your baby dolls. And it's, you know, the wooden bunk beds about this big and He's sleeping on it. He has a little pile and he goes there now and sleeps on it. <laughs> David will get attached to him soon enough. Denise says it's hot and muggy over there too in Massachusetts. If he comes out, I'll show y'all. All the little critters are in here. One sleeping under my feet. It, uh, she named him Fitzgerald. So we just call him Fitz. I call him today. I called him Fitzy. <laughs> but then that confused the dog who's Cocker Spaniel, whose name is Fenty. So she would always come wondering what I was calling her. So she's going to get, have to, I'll just have to call him Fitz. <laughs> and we'll the, see how that goes. The kitty cat likes playing with the Cocker Spaniel's to, um, tail. tail. Toy. Jody has a live toy. <laughs> you know how things move. They like that. So. Let me know if y'all ready to get started. Uh, Denise, do you sell online? Do you do your jewelry you sell on YouTube? She went to get some wine. <laughs> I don't. I can't tell how long the delay is. A 21 year old, 21 -year -old yes, cat. jewelry by Denise. Yes, <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Cats are all sweet. Although, I used to have a cat that if you're just standing there, he would run up your back and climb on your shoulder, or if you're leaning up against something, he'd run up the front of you and climb up on your shoulder. No, no claws. He was nice about it. Yeah, he was, he was a good cat. He freaked everybody out, even our guests that would come over. He freaked me out the first time he did it. On your shoulder. First couple of times. Yeah, yeah, jewelry by Denise. Do you uh sell online? We have fifteen people in the house. Say hi, y'all. Are Say you hi. Well at ninety one degrees, man. Could not imagine. Mm. Hey, you know Hi Annette. You know, we went to Canada. We took our daughter to Canada after her high school graduation. And they had a heat wave. It felt okay. It felt hot. It got pretty muggy in Niagara. And um, didn't feel like Texas muggy. It, no, it did. It really did. We took we the heat followed us up there. Well, I have to check you out, Denise. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I made my daughter keep the cat litter in her room. She wanted to bring it home. You're going to take care of it. I'm already feeding the cat. She's gone all day. She has a real job now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they need some rain. Oh, well, last night it rained real hard. Our electricity went out for a little while. So we got up and left and go eat over on the kind of on the other side of town where away it wasn't raining <laughs> away from the storm because we lost electricity and uh, the Are cell right phone back? was being spotty. But uh, uh, my son calls and oh, no, it's right before we left. Right before we left, we have one tree behind our house, you know, at the corner of my house. And we have a driveway that goes right along the side of my house to my brother's property in the, in the back. She lives behind me. And um, we're worried about that tree. We need to get it cut down. But uh, a tree limb fell off of it, broke off during that storm and uh, blocked the driveway. So I guess it, I guess the rain let up because they cut it up. Last night before we got home, it was already cut up by the time we got home from dinner. No, they dragged it. The oh, they dragged it? Yeah. They oh, dragged okay. It. They didn't cut it up. Okay. It'll get cut soon. <laughs> Missy has three inch cracks in her yard. Wow. Oh, uh, that's how dry it Don't is. fall through. They're going to get bigger and you're going to fall to China. That is dry. <laughs> Okay, let's see. It's we're almost fifteen minutes in. A little chit chat. I don't know where. Uh, some of my hold on. Let me make a a quick uh thing on. My, see, David's no good. He's no Katie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, he, he's, he, I'm, I'm the whole reason why I wanted him here when Katie's not here is to talk because I, I hate talker. talking and reading. I, I hate not having somebody talking back to me. Now he's, he's sucks at communicating with me anyways. Friend, That's I his need, downfall. Probably need some of your wine. <laughs> probably not going to get it. Um, yeah, and here, if you dug a hole deep enough, you get a lot of water. We have a high, high water shelf, so that's why we don't have basements in the Houston area. A basement is extremely rare, rare in Houston because it'll it will flood very easily. No, it's not Tam Tam juice. She's drinking wine tonight. My yeah, my Tam Tam. I should have had it, but wine is sometimes just quicker to pour out of the bottle. <laughs> so my Tam Tam juice is red. This is this is red. This is a deep red. You're getting fires. Uh, seems like you get fires year round in the West. Hmm. Man. Okay, well, if y'all want to get started, I'll go ahead and start. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> when y'all get a chance, go ahead and hit the like button. And for unique new people. Yeah, then, say it, Dave. Uh, Come on. Tell them the routine. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell to let you notify when Tammy uploads new comment. <laughs> yeah, Houston's a swamp. Uh, if we didn't have the population, it would it would be a swamp. Basically, is a swamp. Just we have a ton of bayous. I'm gonna let David show everything. <laughs> Y'all can still hear so him. So Lisa is has joined us on Facebook. Hi, Lisa. You see that? Yep. Will they be in our regular chat too? Uh, she might be able if she comments. She might pop up in Streamyard. I'm not sure. Hi, Lisa. Okay, I have to tilt this a little bit so I can. 
Well, you don't I am a horrible co-pilot, so yeah, he I, is. I shall do my best. Ugh. We're going to argue in a minute because he's not doing his job. <laughs> this is, I have two, um, I don't know if you want to call them hankies or napkins. There's two of them. And they have this cute embroidery um, design. Those are napkins. Is it a napkin? But they're the size of a hanky. They're 10, I think they're 10 and a half inches. And they, they have um, the stitching all the way around here and here. And then just that one corner. And there's two of them. Now, I've been saving little hankies because I plan to make a quilt one day out of them. The more I lean this, I won't be able to see the comments. But uh, I need my... No, I don't. I need it lower. But uh, I've been wanting to make a, a quilt, um, a hanky quilt. <sighs> when that, when I'll have time for that, I don't know. So, we're going to hey, have... Martha. There you are, Martha. <laughs> I can hold this one. We're going to have these. Can you see the detail work on those? Little flower vase on a t um, table in the corner. Looks like that. So we're going to do both of these. The for the pair of them is going to be, my light too bright? $6, yeah. number 47. Yeah, for I was going to say, they, they look the size of hankies, but the material is a little thicker so i would assume napkins yeah the material is a little bit thicker it'd be rough on your face if it was just a hanky what do we do but with hankies they're anymore? very well made i use them to wipe sweat off <laughs> okay they're beautiful what number were those um Number 47. 47. Okay. And. I still use hankies. You still use hankies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A kerchief. A kerchief. I'm in a little slow. I should have had Martha in here. Because Martha, David's not doing his job. Hi, Nettie. Hey, Nettie. So next I have this very cute biscuit jar it's four inches tall now you see the handles it's it is missing it you know a little basket handle so I'm accounting for that but the flowers and the basket weave design is really cute it's four inches wide and about um, three inches I mean, four inches tall and about three and a half inches wide in the lid. And my hey, fingers Sue. where the flowers aren't. Hi, Sue. Sue, I want you to email me and let me know when you can join us on Friday night. I want you to be the voice or come. You know, if you don't want to be on screen, you don't have to. Your voice could just be there. Sue says she's. Working and lurking. Working and lurking. She's gonna snipe y'all, so y'all, y'all need to punch in those numbers real fast, cause Sue's right around the corner. Now there's a lot of crazing to this jar, so it don't have its handle, but it's nevertheless it's really cute. I, I thought about trying to figure out how to make a little basket weave handle. You put buttons in there. But yeah, you can use it for cotton. Put your cottons in your Q-tips, your Safety pins, your uh, M&M &M's. &M stash next to your bed, <laughs> and it's going to be six dollars, and it's number seven, little biscuit jar. Sour Skittles. Sour Skittles. <laughs> Sweet and sour. I had a, I didn't make me a space to clear out for, for everything. Where I set things down at. Okay, let's see. Okay, I missed the comment about Elvis. See, see, you're not doing your job. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm looking the opposite way now, huh? Because he's really on 
Yeah, that side. Just look forward. Look, look He's not that. doing his job. He's a bad co-pilot. I said something about what? I can't. Oh no, she said that I'm no. She's not. I'm no Elvis, so they won't pay for my sweat. <laughs> okay, next I have this little figurine. Um, I am. I think I'm out of sorts here. What I do with her? They're right here. Ugh. I can't find anything. Okay, this little girl figurine. Uh, she's she's really cute. She looks maybe like she might be a project piece. And look at those eyes. She looks very catty in her ball gown dress. It's blue. Does that look blue to y'all? Because it's blue. Does it, no, you're looking here. Look no, on the blue. screen. I'm okay. The screen. When you said that, you're looking at her. She's right beside me. But it's, it's five and a half inches tall. She's a little curly hair. I think she has a... Oh, wow. You need to let them see it and not move around so much. She, her hair has a little paint loss right there. She's holding a bouquet. Her little ball gown dress. There you go. She's really cute. She's five and a half inches tall. Little chalkware, I mean, a ceramic piece. And she is going to be $8, number one. $8, number one. Sue says she looks like a Bratz doll. I guess she's oh, she does, yeah. vintage Bratz, Bratz before there were Bratz. My daughter used to do the Bratz. <laughs> they were weird looking keep up with it I'm not. Martha hey, Sue has number one can I send you can I send you over here Martha because David is falling behind am I seeing it before you yeah okay here I have a, a pair of salt and pepper shakers they're six and a half inches tall they're pretty tall they look like wood I don't know if they're really wood, but they got the wood grain and everything. I feel like this camera is too short and skinny and has the Florida symbol label. There it goes. They're identical. They're kind of cutesy. Anybody from Florida or anybody uh, collect salt and pepper shakers? They say P and S. And the S has more hose, so you get more salt. And they have their stoppers. But that, that wood grain all the way around. Now, those aren't treasure craft, but they look like treasure craft. <laughs> this, oh, yeah, treasure craft, I think, did make a um, hobbyist piece. But they're not ceramic. They feel more like, more like a wood or press wood of some kind. I think all of a uh, tre treasure craft is some kind Hi, of ceramic. Christy. Hi, Christy. So these are going to be ten dollars and number four for the salt and pepper shakers. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Christy. Glad y'all could join us. We're doing a live sale. And if y'all not familiar with this and haven't seen one before, let us know and we'll explain it to you. Anyways, let me put these down. Trying to make David do his job here. Draper would be all over those salt and pepper shit. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Okay, next. Hey, Barb. Next, I have this lion. That's a tiger. I mean, I'm sorry, tiger. The other lion. <laughs> it's orange, and he has a cool-looking face here. His mane on the side. He's a wall pocket. I couldn't really find how old he was. There's no... 
There's no make or model on here. Somebody once told me that looks like tiger claws down it, but he's a really cool face and it looks real good with a little planter. Make it a little planter, little Pencil wall holders. Pocket. It's six inches tall. Pencil holders, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. You put it at your little boy's room on his desk. Yeah. There Where you go. won't break it. It is a ceramic piece. But I thought he was really cute. He is fourteen dollars, and he's number fourteen. Chopsticks. Great <laughs> idea. Putting chopsticks in it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Martha, are you <laughs> eating Chinese food planner? tonight? Just wondering. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, you could put your succulents in there. Air plant succulents. Okay. I look. I tried looking up this dish. A really cool, really cool M&M dish because it's pretty deep. Um. It's a it's a shell pink color with a footing little claw feet and it has like a flower opening the little scallop edges around the rim and it's just a soft pink color I mean candy I don't know you know there's so many things oh you can put a planter in it but you'll see all the dirt I guess huh That'd be cool. See what goes on underneath. See what goes on underneath. See the roots. But it's a cute little uh, soft pink dish. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to eat cereal out of it, but although David probably would. No, it's not big enough. <laughs> oh, it's not big enough. Okay. <laughs> he needs a Tupperware pieces. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't, you probably can't really tell the color here. Oh, either. no, you can see it. You can? Yeah. I don't look like I can see it through mine. It looks really white. It's almost it's a like a pink. wider version of the pink depression glass. Yeah. But it has really cool edges on it. The footing. It's just more, I guess, translucent. You can see through it better. And it's going to be $12, number 25. And if you have a shop or a booth, you can put little mints or peppermints you're giving away. That'd be great for that. Anybody else coming in? Yeah, it's tinted pink. Tinted pink. Let's see. Um, now I have this little square trinket dish. Um, good to hold all your baby teeth or something in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a two by two. It has a, like a porcelain top, painted top, because this is kind of, it feels a little 3D-ish, like it is hand-painted. David says he don't think this is silver, but it it looks pretty silver to me, but I don't know. I don't know how to test it, for this sure. markings. Yeah, no markings. There's always markings. So, I don't know what you call it. Can we focus? There we go. A cute little trinket dish. Would it be pewter or it's light, it's not real heavy. And a pretty pink. So we're gonna do this. It's ten dollars and it's number eight. Y'all like seeing David on camera? Probably not. <laughs> it's like I, I mean, it's like he almost shouldn't be. I mean, he's I not here. I shaved for this. <laughs> did you? Did you shave? That's too small to keep couplings in. I'm, I guess you can put little trinkets or something. A few couplings, not many. Let me go. So. Anybody uh, collect carnival prizes? This is a, a cat carnival prize from like the 30s. And he's in pretty good shape for 
his age and he's not too too heavy some of them are heavier than others but most of these are usually really light but uh, he's got a little bit of wear on his paint but I think he's in great condition for his age that face those big eyes little bug eyes and see the, his feet and his bottom that's my daughter making noise over there so and he was uh, about six and a half inches tall he's about the bit as big as my hey, little Jeannie. kitty my daughter's kitty hi Jeannie so this a uh, carnival prize I don't well if it's from the 30s of course we wouldn't remember it they had cool prizes back then unlike nowadays little stuffed animals and stuff that probably don't last very long the snow whites are real pretty yeah you can find those in great condition great condition well they're going to be pricey for great condition they're spooky and horrible condition <laughs> <laughs> he is 16 dollars and he is number 10 for the carnival kitty cat prize you could win this prize i think it's good for a cat collection you have a little bit of everything. Yeah, we don't have any cat lovers tonight. I don't know if I'd pick the cat if I was little, but you never know at a carnival. Okay. Someone would have loved it. But someone kept great care of that though. For its age. She was in good shape. Can I get that off the of those? Everything fallen. Okay, here we have two owls. Uh, poor fishes. Yeah. Sorry, Angie. Huh? <laughs> People when they give away goldfish at the carnival, oh, they're probably dead. I forgot like, about oh. that. Yeah, I remember that now. I remember that when I was little. So we have these two owls. One is uh, seven and a half inches, and the other is three and a, um, you know, seven inches and three and a half inches, and they're identical. But I picked these up at two different places. But they're they're a match. They both got those. It's like David looking eyes. at Tammy like, "What are you doing?" That's what the big L saying. What are you doing? Yeah. Tell me that, Dave. <laughs> and this one has the original tag on it from Jefferson. I don't remember that store. A Jefferson store? Where is it? Could have been a pharmacy. I don't know. Department 63. But I think these are really cool together. I think these are really cool owls. I do like their eyes, though. Their mustard green eyes. So, a mama and baby bird. These owls will be for the set of them will be fourteen dollars number three we have 26 people in y'all say hi y'all say hi so we know who's here hi Michelle Lee hey Michelle I need a bigger table I'm not in my regular area anymore. I found a, uh, I don't know if some of you have seen, well, you probably, if y'all have boots, you probably run, run across, but um, Schaefer made the script inkwell bottles for the fountain pens with the reservoir. And they sold, of course, downtown Houston. There's what, three or four large pharmacies. And of course, they would sell ink because people use fountain pens. But I have one that has the old uh, peel. I guess it was the Pilot Pharmacy, P I L L O G, I think, in downtown Houston. And I still have that tag on there. It's pretty cool. Can y'all hear him? Because he sounds low sitting right next to me. They can hear me. You you sound really low. And um, we do have a fan going. So, what's the name of this? What was the name of that? Something basket. Uh, Basketville. 
Basketville? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Bassettville. Okay, Basketville. It says on the bottom of it, this handmade basket with the nails round. It's um, eight inches in the opening, five inches tall. It has the nails where it's put together by nails. A really cool basket weave. Now, what can we do with this? You can hold handmade or homemade napkins. That pair that you were trying to sew. Okay. Yeah, that would look real good. Just laid over. Let's see. Gloves. Laid over. Doilies. <laughs> hold your doilies. Yeah, this would go in many decors to have stuff coming out and hanging out of it. But I really like it. It's, it's a very sturdy Hand basket. And it's about this big. Head check. <laughs> Head check back. Hey, uh, cat. Hi, cat. Picasso cat's going to come on with us on a Friday night here soon. So, vintage after dark. Yeah, on vintage after dark. So this basket is going to be $10. And it's number 29. Basketville. Is that the company or? I think so. Because it says Pottery Basketville. And I can't tell what's on the bottom. So. It's a cool basket. It's a good idea, Martha. What was it? Moms are silk flowers. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> And Barb Lee is going to take number 29. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Barb. I do like that basket. It's a nice, thick basket. Um, now, I think these are really cool. It, I mean, it halfway matches my kitchen, but um, I just love the colors. They're just fun. These retro... What is that? 60s colors the in the psychedelic uh, days. Is this six? Yeah, this is 60s, right? Yeah. The colors. I mean, not 70s. It's too bright for 70s. Mm, but the yeah, 60s. orange and yellow and then the lime green and the blue. Does that look on your camera the same? Because on my camera, it does not. This is a real lime green. And looking at my camera, it looks real pale. It's, yeah, it's a bright green. It's like a bright M and M green. So yeah, it looks yeah more of an M and M color. So, and then a little salt and peppy with the little heart flower like on it. I think these are really cool. And has a little star figure on the bottom, but they're just plain all the way around. And they're plastic, one of those like hard plastics. But I just I think these are really cool colors. Hi, Carol. Really fun. Hi, Carol. And they're going to be $12, number 13. What have they look on mine? Like it looks like a soft green. It, it is really a Kelly green, like a M&M &M color. I don't know how to, why doesn't this show true colors? Well, Carol's taking it, 13. Thank you, Carol. I don't like my light not showing true colors. I've tried to flicker it back and forth and I was going off in my shirt. My shirt looks more bluer than it does in my screen. Okay. Here I have a set. I got this big bundle of um, barrettes and combs and hair accessories. So I was busting them out in, you know, little sets. But, um, here I have these vintage. Yeah, I really like this one. I like the color. It is an avocado kind of color, green. And there's a the little uh, clip on where you, the class where you, punch, I mean, pinch it and then, and then the Sound little, like a cricket. <laughs> and a kind of a, what is that? Like a leopard like print with a black around the ring. No, that's almost like tortoise shell tortoise show look at david being more pacific not that i can say that word either i need to get this camera over so i can see my what is that david how do you describe that mm, more pearl or... hey carol so 
if you go to the Tammy's description at the, the page description, you just uh, send your, of course, your YouTube name and then your uh, PayPal information and email Tammy at the Vintage Uprising Texas at Gmail on the bottom of the screen. And that way she can send you an invoice and then you can pay through PayPal. Very good. And if that's not clear, then you can just read the description like I said. <laughs> it took him a long time to say it. So anyways, I feel like I'm going slow. For the set of these, we're going to do for $12 in number 19. Yeah, I just need you to send me your um, PayPal information uh, so I can send you an invoice. And you just keep shopping. So for the set of these, $12. Number 19. My sidekick's still learning. Hey, Lisa, how's the succulent garden coming? Is it, did you expand? I know a, a few did not survive the freeze. Next, I have this brooch, this double heart. One's like roped and the other one's like a solid heart with a pearl on the top or you know faux pearl probably and the um it's all gold tone and the flower in the center there's no no marks on here of what it could be I, but a brand all right i had it focused and then i had to move it there, you there go. we go and it's about an inch big but there's a, you know, we're trying to bring back the, bring back the brooch, y'all. So double heart with the pearl and the flower. And it's going to be $12, number 32. And it is about an inch and a half tall for the heart. The hearts are. Now that is a great backdoor gift for Father's Day. So father can save it for Mother's Day or mom later on during the year. <laughs> it's a, it could be his backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Next we have, I have this pillow sham. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. This bright primary color pillow sham of a, do you see it? Is it in the cam, um, camera screen? Yeah. Of a boy and girl, like a farm wise. On yeah, the farm. and she's got the little ho Holly Hobby profile, very similar. Yeah, there's another name for those little girls. What is it? Martha, what is the other name? The Bonnet, the Bonnet Girls? Or oh, Sylvia, I need a Katie hat, yeah. <laughs> He did have a hat I, on. I almost bought one. Almost <laughs> and it has these hat. ruffles all the way around it, the uh, gingham yellow ruffles. And it is a standard size pillowcase, and it's a slip cover opening. So I only have the one. Sun Bonnet Sue. Yeah, Sue. that is. That's it. I knew she would know. What is that? An apple tree and a rainbow. I think it's bright. Bright colors, great for your little child's room, granddaughter's room. Very cute. Very cute. And it's going to be $12 and it's number 42. Lisa said her sister had a very similar bedding set. Oh, cool. I like to see the whole bedding set. I love bright colors like this, especially for a child's room. $12, number 42. Are you doing stir fry, Martha? You're cooking dinner because you mentioned... Uh chopsticks over and leanne watson gets number 42. thank you leanne how about this oh wait did i give you the right thing mm -hmm. nope 42. Okay. Nope. 
Okay, change that. Okay. I'm so bad about this. What am I changing? I did this once. It's a pillow sham. And this one's a, the pillow panel kit. I grabbed the wrong one. I did the same yeah. price. So you change that number two here. Nope, on there. Got it. Sorry. It's not the same without Katie. <laughs> I feel lost. Okay. This is a, there's no maker model on this either. It's glazed. It's a yellow bird on a branch. Very cute yellow bird. Is that light too bright? I feel like that light just blows everything out. Can we dim it? All right. I'm going to do that look yellow or white. It's yellow. And then his green branch. And he's about this tall. It's seven and a half inches tall. There's no. Hey, Christy. No maker model on it. Hi, Christy. And he's, and he's in good shape. No cracks. No chips. He looks really fun and he is going to be $14 and he is number 12. That will look great on my bookshelf. Oh, look on the bird. He does have a little craze in on his backside. Really? Can you see that? So that tells me I feel like it's older. He gets German. There's no markings. Mm -mm. It's beautiful. I, I was going to say it's part, it looks part of him. No, but it's a, he has a little bit of crazing on him. There it goes. Can you see that? He's all cracked up. No. And see the yellow kind well, of white. Michelle yellow. Lee loves it. So she's going to take that. I think that. he's Thank pretty you, cool. Michelle. Now he can't put it on his bookshelf. <laughs> And he complains about me trying to collect everything. I'm very eclectic. I got a little bit of different of everything. I so I, I, do, do too. <laughs> I do have this mid-century piece. Now, I remember my parents having this. My mom having these. We had a couple and they stack. They will stack. And it is it's made by Anchor Hawking, and it's a very retro, mid-century, whatever. And it's called a Nova Booby Bubble Ashtray. Booby Bubble. Well, it's actually called no Nova Booby is the actual name of it. And they had two, and but when I see them online they will stack and sit perfectly in between each other the in the grooves but you know we can use it as a, a coin holder or a, a candle candle holder or your incense you know and it's it's got weight to it it's nice and heavy a little heavy glass but this one's a clear one lj says it's space like yeah yeah all those a lot of mid-century stuff sometimes were space like yeah so, um, I had a blue one I had already I sold, I found and sold already. But I think these are really cool. This brought back memories. My parents I need were to smokers. watch all of the retro NASA right stuff, all that, that came out. Because I always look in the background. <laughs> I can care less of what's, what's going on. And I'm just looking at stuff that's on the shelves. and the Booby, booby, tables. booby. Do I sound more comfortable now? <laughs> It's going to be $14 for this boopy. Am I saying it wrong? Boopy? B O O P I E? Boopy or boopy? Boopy. P I E? P I E. Boopy? I know it's, it was spelled B O O P I E. 
<laughs> and it's Sue number says yes. <laughs> number thirty-four. I want Sue to come on with uh, me and Christy on our vintage after dark. She just won't email me and let me know. Did you say someone else came in? Hi, Leanne. <laughs> Here, Christina Taylor came in. She snuck in. Hi, Christina. Where you been? <laughs> so, next, I have a let me get a little piece of paper to hide this. So you can see this better. Give you a better focus. It's a poodle brooch. I just had that paper. There it is. I'm telling y'all, I'm lost. I need to get my system back down. So, little poodle brooch. He's only um, an inch tall. You know, we're going to bring back the brooch, y'all. And he has those red eyes. A black poodle. There was no, no um, signature on him. And he is going to be fourteen dollars, number thirty-two, thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> Sue, can you do what with your cell phone, or you need a computer? What are you talking about? It's windy there. I can. I mean, you can punch in numbers on your phone, Sue. I mean, can I do it? with myself oh she's the one i'm trying to get um you can oh, do it from your cell phone you can do it on your cell phone. yeah you yeah. can do it on your cell phone see see how he's not staying up with the um the uh conversation yeah you can do it from your cell phone or computer poodle pin so what was that number again number 31 31 14 number 31 um Got you, Sue. I'm on the same page now. <laughs> it takes him a while. The story of my life. Um, Sue says she's in. She's going to email you later. Okay. She's going to join you. For I want to hear your sarcasm live. Vintage after dark. I dropped something. The magic of live streaming. <laughs> I can't cut and start over. Here we have, this is a, no, that ain't it. Well, I picked up the wrong thing, so here it is. This will be easy to ship because there's no frame on it. It's ready to frame. All the hard work has been done. Look at it. It's a cruel piece. The only thing left to do is to punch in the number and frame it. So this is without the frame and the glass, it's going to be easy to send. And it's a 15 by 12 little girl sitting on a swing with her dog. What is it? she got a book on the bench. Oh, and there's ducks in the corner there. This whole thing done in cruel. I just, I, I don't think I could do this. This looks too, I know I say the wrong, the word wrong, tedious. David makes fun of me on that. Tedious. Tedious. Said, I said it right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little girl with her doggy and the flowers in the background. I, I love the details of these. I love cruel pictures anyways. Cruel. And I'm probably saying that word wrong. Cruel and corral. I don't know. But a nice. It, so this will be easy to ship. Ready. Show the just tree. to be framed. Look at this gorgeous. The tree itself. I love the, the color tones in the tree. Oh, even that branch is very colored tone. Look at that. Her hair is too. Look at, wow. She's got highlights in her ponytails. <laughs> There's a doggy. He's, he's a little patchwork doggy. And then we have the ducks walk in. Really cute. It's this big, 15 by 12. All I have to do is roll it up and send it because it's very flexible. So this is very lightweight to send. And you frame it yourself. And it is fourteen dollars, number thirty-nine. That is beautiful. 
And we, we, if you're like us, you have eight or nine frames sitting around ready. ready yeah, to I always keep frames. <laughs> put that in. That's going to be easy to show. Easy peasy. Okay. And Annette Fain is getting 39. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Annette. Send it this way towards David. You have good taste, Annette. <laughs> it's beautiful. What can I reach? It looks like uh, little Frankie when she grows up and we, we allow her on a swing. <laughs> when we allow her on a swing, yeah, swing? so she, yeah, because we're protective of her. Okay, next I have up this Fenton hobnail shoe, the amber color. So I see these are really cool looking, but what did they ever do with them? What were their original tent? Were they just figural? Were they just for decoration, or you know, do they fit business cards? I don't know. They could store shoelaces. They could short really shoelaces. That's your best A come pair up of with. Shoelaces. <laughs> well, I haven't looked at the history of those. I'm not sure when yeah, they started. Yeah, I haven't those. really. And I've and they come in all kinds of cool colors. It's like, can you fit M Ms in there? I feel like you. Oh, and I haven't tried a business card, but I feel like a business card would almost fit in here. Probably. But this is the amber. No, don't start that. Benny, the amber hobnail Fenton shoe. I don't know what's wrong with her. And it's going to be $11, number 27. Hey, I mean, 26. Uh, See, this is why I have 26. to have a paper. I'm so dyslexic. I don't know. I'm making up numbers in my head. It's 26, y'all, <laughs> for those listening. Hi, Angela. Leanne, um, if you bought before, we kept your we kept your information for the invoice. If you just emailed it, I'm sure we got it. We just need to check the email. Yeah, Lee, and I think I have you already. Yeah. So said, once you email your your information, you don't have to do it again. I use I keep it on hand. Who made the uh, shoes? Just for my Benton. information. Benton. Benton. Mm. Lisa says she knows people in her garden group that use those for indoor planners. Indoor planners? Yeah. Yeah, they're they are that'd be good. That would be that would look really nice in that. It's a tiny plant. <laughs> okay. Y'all seen the head scarfs, right? I'm down to my very last view. Your seventies head scarf. Am I cute? So Am I cute, y'all? <laughs> we if have I, this. If I put the red one on, I'm look. I'm gonna look like I cook at Benihana. No, thanks. <laughs> you already feel good. <laughs> I feel good. So I have several of them. I have four of them here. What is this one's a little different? Anyway, I have the caramel, a green and white checker, a red one. They're all $4, um, $4 each. And this one, I'm not sure how it goes. See, it's here and then the triangle is loose. She's gonna, yeah, there you go. I guess it just sits there. This is the one I remember my mom having. Of course, it tied. It was loose and tied um, in the back. And these, I think whoever had these, I don't know if they handmade them and stitched them this way, but not all of them have like a triangle. They're more, they're like that first one I had on. The one I just had on looks like that. And then this is the one I remember. That kind of looks like a nun, huh? like a nun's wear. Uh, but I remember my mom wearing these and tying it and working out in the yard and everything. So these, how are you? these are going to be, if you want one, they're $4. Just 
punch in the number, the first one to punch in the numbers and the one after that, you can tell me how many you want. Hold on. You can tell me how many you want and uh, the colors. You tell me the colors you want for the first one and then we'll go from there if anybody wants these. There's four of them. So the first four people. people put the colors in first. Do they put colors in? Yeah. Kat did. Christina did. And then. Okay. What colors did we Joanne have? Joanne did. We so had who Kat. Cat for the caramel. Christina for yellow. Wait a minute. Yellow is caramel. This is. Okay. That's the car caramel. Christina. Oh, I do have a yellow one. Yellow one. I think I do have a yellow one out there. One more yellow one. Well, I'll let you figure that one out. So, who are the first? Cat wanted caramel. And Christina saying yellow, but I think that's the same one. I think I do have one more. And Joanne wants the checks. Here, it's on the back of there. He's going to write that down. Let me go get the yellow one. Meanwhile, I'm going to stay small while she runs off and sh shows you her Raggedy Ann collection. <laughs> okay, Christina, but Tammy does have a yellow one, so she's, she's going to grab it. Just in case. But uh, Kat's going to go ahead and get the caramel. And here's a yellow one. And I think I'm. Is this one fine, Chris? That's a yellow with polka dots. Yeah, yeah. It's white and yellow with a uh, white with yellow polka dots and then you're ready i have a pink one and this one has little scallop edges y'all i look like my mom oh no <laughs> sorry mom on. if you're watching of course, my mom was always dark headed. She's not even, I get all the gray from my dad. So there's a pink one available if anybody, we we had a, Christy wants the pink. So Joanne's getting the checks and the red. And, wait a minute, okay. yeah. You got it? Yeah. Sorry. Thanks, Christy. Okay, I'm going to let and him the <laughs> finish brown. up. My hair. There's oh, yeah, a dark brown. brown. There's a brown. Oh, dark brown. Checks red. Oh, Christy wants pink. So I don't have a thing. I need a sheet for pink. And the yellow. You probably need a sheet for yellow too. Yeah, just somehow. What Brucey? Okay. Oh, Brucey keeps coming over here. This is Brucey, y'all. He's trying to jump in my lap right now. Look, say hi. Say hi. He went shopping with us once when we were on vacation. Okay. Uh, where am I? I don't know. Does anybody have any um, firefighters in their family? I got these pretty cool mugs. See, it looks just like a plain, um, a restaurant wear like mug, real thick mugs like the restaurants have. But let me see if I can. Oh, there it goes. There's white mug, I mean, white helmets all the way around it, and just the one red. Can you see those good? Can you see that through the through the camera, David? Yes, I need clarification. Okay. Do you need oh, me help? Head scarves, really good. Let me help him with the head scarves. So Angela did punch in thirty-five, but that was after everyone was putting numbers in. So how do you want to do that? Because I have her, I have Angela in for thirty-five, but. I'm not sure what colors. 
the pink's taken, Lisa. Sorry. Um, so that was really confusing. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was showing you all the colors before I gave you all the numbers. Um, yeah. But that's how. Okay, so. Um, who was the first one with the numbers? Picasso Cat. Right. Yeah, we started with Picasso Cat. Is it Christina? No, wait. Angela, Angela and Christina. And so what which one did Angela which color did you get? Do well, I see it? She just put on a number first. Yeah. So I say whoever you know put in the numbers first. I know you're starting to put in colors before I told you a number. Um, I've got caramel for Picasso cat. And then Chris, um, Angela, what was your number? I mean, a uh, color. And then Chris, and then it's Christy. And then Joanne, is that who you have? Yeah. But. And, um, and then Christina gave hers up to someone else. <laughs> I should have I should have said the word choice, I guess, when I was showing y'all all the colors. No, Tammy didn't make these. She no, I didn't make these particular ones. I found a bundle up. of them, a whole bundle of them, and I've been slowly selling them in my sales. Angela wanted the caramel, but. Uh, Kat got that one first. And she she was first, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Angela, what was the next color? Because Kat was before you on the numbers. On number 35. It should be uh, Kat, then Angela, then Christy, and then Christina. And Christina gave hers up to someone. And then Joanne. So, Angela, uh, Angela, did you want another one that's? Then we had yellow, pink. We have yellow polka dot, pink, but pink, Christy. I want to come down in. And what was the one that was left? Uh, the one left is brown. The brown one? Yes. The brown one? Who got yellow? Because she should pick first before the next person does. Uh... See, uh, Katie would have this all done, right? <laughs> so you have. I hate, I hate this, the killing time part, David. I know, but this uh, is. I don't like them having to wait. I think you jumped the gun on the colors before the, you did the number. So. Okay. I need to write it down to see who's the first ones in line here. Let me figure this. Yeah, Angela put the number in first, and then okay. Chrissy put in a number, and then she put yellow. But that was we have to figure out that Angela had Let's first see. pick. And Christina, and then Joanne, and then Cat got.
Next time there'll be separate numbers, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I should have used the word choice. Paint. She wanted caramel. Yeah. No, that's all right, Cat. Uh, and Cat got. We'll figure it out the next time. She'll do. She'll limit to three scars with three separate numbers for each color. <laughs> yes, I'll do that next time. Okay, I'm gonna write write that down. The exactly. If you want, I'll go out there and see if I have another one. <laughs> so everybody can have one. What am I writing on? What's that for? Who, this yeah. was the order, and right. this is the color they wanted. So I know which one. She wanted caramel, but it was already taken by her. Put caramel here. Yeah. I got to see it. I got to see it. Caramel. And so uh -huh. scrolling back and forth. And... Angie hasn't said what color she wants. Oh, she wanted. I have the brown one left, uh, Angela. But you have more colors, though, right? Yes. Let me go look. No. No. What? Angela. Uh, we'll 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 hook you up with some more colors. So just hang tight. She's got. I think I might have. No, I have only like maybe two left. Okay. Well. We'll get it figured out. Can they see my comments? Did I miss a comment? Yellow. She said yellow, but we have the yellow. With, show that it's white with yellow polka it's dots. It's white with yellow polka dots. Is that fine? It's white with yellow polka dots. Let me know if that's fine. And a light color. Let's make it. Mr. New Jersey. <laughs> yes, yellow. Okay. Got you. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Katie would have had this under control. <laughs> so I have a pair of these mugs. They have the white, um, the white uh, helmets all the way around. If I can make it show, see the white helmets all up and down, and then one red one. So the pair of these mugs will be ten dollars, number thirty-three, for the two. <laughs> Thank you, cat. Okay, y'all talking about guys and calendars? Firefighters oh. and calendars. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to go there because I know some guys. <laughs> Not, I mean, I know some guys. I've golfed with some dudes who I'm like, his his body would look great under my head, you know. <laughs> I might agree with that too. I know some dudes. And nowadays, here's the Houston thing. For those in the, well, there's not many of y'all here in the Houston area, just Martha and Lisa, uh, Christy. The firefighters now for Houston Fire Department, it's a thing. I don't know if they're getting ready for uh, November with the mustaches and beards, but they're they're trending with these handlebar old style, and they're yeah. waxing their mustaches and goatees. That's yeah. the trend right now in the Houston Fire Department. I don't know about that. And these dudes are working out. I mean, these guys are ripped. Okay, next I have is this. Now, this, I don't know if it's crochet, macrame, or knitted, the style of this purse. It's a soft, it's not hard like macrame is. You know how that's real stiff. This is softer. This old vintage purse. It's a shoulder purse. The purse itself is about a um, eight by ten size in pocket, and it has this. That feels like leather, like a a suede leather um, apple, or it's yellow. This is yellow, 
and like this is a like a suede leather and I would assume it's handmade and it's got the cloth inside and it has a pocket a little pocket right here and it's pretty clean inside but it's a cute little vintage purse shoulder purse and it goes to my hip so it probably work as a crossbody purse too so crochet or macrame I don't know I've seen it both ways when I was kind of looking up this this style of a purse and it ha may have a like right there it has a little spot on it that probably can be cleaned off I haven't tried it and this looks a little probably a gravy got, drip from gets, a macrame person okay, okay eating okay. mashed potatoes and gravy okay I don't always find his humor funny okay <laughs> he's a dork sometimes so this purse yeah call it what you will is $18 and it's number 43. 43, $18 for this handmade macrame crochet type purse. I don't know if Martha would have known. She didn't say anything, so she might have. No, she oh, said. Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah, she said macrame. Because you don't read the chats to me when I'm trying to show stuff. You're supposed to be. Why are you here? You're supposed to be here. Martha, you're coming on next week. I can't have him. He's he's not helping me. Uh, I need more tan pim juice. You're so right. <laughs> I give him simple rules. I hear my kitty. Not my kitty, my daughter's kitty. Yeah. She came and got him earlier. And he came back in here. Be nice, Sue. He said to let her she wants to spank me. <laughs> I am not in a calendar. <laughs> okay. Next, I do have a frame picture. Now move it forward. So of, the with the off. glass. And I just love this picture. It's a vintage baby carriage of the, the macrame with flowers, a baby holding a flower with a butterfly above it. And look at that umbrella. I'm trying to get it close enough so y'all can see the details. Might be a little bit of a scary baby. It looks like a Raggedy Ann baby, don't it? But look at the cradle. That's so cute. Oh. Let me start this way before I start seeing, showing you all the details. Can you type in? We're going to do a... Um, Texas Throwdown. And I'm going to start this off at $40 for this picture frame it is a 16 by 16 the frame is in good shape is that needlepoint you said it's uh-huh no it's a um, crochet cro um cruel 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 needlepoint or cruel it has a wire hanger it was um professionally framed by hey, the, Randy by gallery of southwest in Houston but the paper has a little punch right there. And this paper always gets messed up. So again, let me show you the details of the cradle. We're going to start this at $40. The umbrella, you see a butterfly, the baby holding the flower, trying to get to the butterfly. The wheels on this cradle go round and round and the flowers little details in the flowers but look at those wheels it looks like the old wagon wheels a ton of detail we've started it's at forty dollars if anyone's interested And this is under glass. It is 16 by 16. I love this picture. I can list it on Etsy if, I, if it doesn't go here. But I was going to give y'all a first shot. 
So, but if nobody's interested in this, then I will we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Okay. My next offer up. No. <laughs> Say hi, kitty, kitty. Hi. See, he said hi. He's so good at saying hi. That's what my daughter brought home. It's Gerald. Like we need another animal in this house. Like we need a hoe in our head. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. And next I have these uh, set of birds. They're um Hey Tammy Renee Walker. Hi Tammy. Um uh art. I'm trying to think of the name of it now. Here's the tag on it. Uh art 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 I can't say it. Art Gary Art Gary. Oh oh to Gary. Oh to Gary. Oh to Gary, right? Yeah. These You're little right. birds. <laughs> he says I'm right. They're uh, a, a grayish blue color. Ultigary. This one's soft gray blue. Yeah, real, real soft. Pretty. And this one's bent and down, bent down, real good shape. Still, both of them still have their stickers. Both of them have their mouths open. And then this one there's the one bent down from his tail to the stump is four inches and then this one is just over four inches standing up and they're i i don't think you can see the color very well on here they can see it. you can yeah. I, it, it looks very washed out for me looking at it this is a white color down here and this is a blue bluish gray smoky blue color but very cute birds and I like that they still have their tags on them and that's unusual to find too so somebody did take care of these until their children threw them out I'm sure so for the pair of these and they're they're in the um, mid-century time I mean they were during that time Christina bird is the word bird is the word <laughs> And for the set of these will be sixteen dollars, number fifteen. If they were heavier and bigger, they'd make great bookends, but and I would keep them. Yeah, that carriage did almost look lace on that on that picture. Yeah, they're not bookends, David. I know. I like my bookends. Mm -hmm. Benny, stop. Playing with the kitty. I know, but not over here. <laughs> so, and tell me, so here I have. I'm actually surprised I'm going to give these up because I like to collect the um, vintage towels and stuff. These are the Flower Power Field Craft. Still has its label on here. This is the hand towel. Too bad I don't have the actual wash towel, the bathing towel, and then a wash washcloth. And they both have their tags on it still. And they look brand new, like they were never used. I love these flowers. I love the mod flower power. So for this set. Oh. And I, I have vintage towels, and I do hang them in my, you know, off my vintage shelf, off my, in my bathroom, hand towels. For these two pieces of the flower power, it's going to be $14, and it's number 45. Good thing I didn't get a handle, the handle on those um, when I change your lights out oh yeah <laughs> i look for the sheets in this stuff too the the vintage flower sheets i have a ton of vintage flower sheets as well 
Okay. Now, anybody into um, the art? We have Don Davy and his artwork. These are from 1978. And this one is, what is this one? White Sand Beach, um, Carmel by the Sea. Carmel, California. Carmel by the Sea. Where and Clint Eastwood was mayor. And it is signed. And they are in. Um, These are printed lithographs. Printed lithographs? Yeah, they're not originals. They're printed lithographs. So it's. They're matted and they're in the um, in a shrunk wrap paper, and there's even a story in here about him. And they both have that. They're both shrunk wrap, and then this one is a uh, Long Cypress Pebble Beach. So I don't know if anybody's into art. This is more David's field and I'm more of the Corel, the cruel. So both of these for $15, uh, number 41. For those on the coast. <laughs> yeah, I would like my Tam Tam juice on the, on the beach too. Yes. Yes, that would be good. Okay. This cat. You going to be a problem? What's in Pensacola, Martha? It's crowded there right now. Barb Tam Tam Juice is an even mixture of probably two shots and a half of coconut rum with vodka and... You top the rest of it off with cranberry juice. I'm going to do this one. So you pour like this, probably a three count, on ice, stop, and then you load in the cranberry juice. And that's a double of Tim Tim juice. Yes. And Barbara and Bundo is taking number 41. 41? All right, somebody likes artwork. There's your soulmate, David. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Next I have up is this Fenton um, white milk glass on the outside. It looks like white milk glass. I don't know if they actually call it that, Fenton. And the pink inside, ruffle lace. And it, But it is Fenton. I think it's a... Three and a half inches tall, or almost four inches tall, about three and a half. This very pretty white, pink inside. I don't know if they call this case something glad, you know, pink in case. I don't know. That's what somebody was trying to tell me at one point, but I didn't understand the casing part. So, pink on the inside, the clear ruffles. And the white on the outside. A Fenton glass. It is Fenton though. Um, and it's going to be $22. Number 23. Oh, the cat's attacking my foot. <laughs> Sometimes I do, along with my um, cranberry juice, I mix in some pineapple juice to make it even sweeter. So, I do do that sometimes. Sometimes I put four in there. Christina's sitting on her hand. She wants she wants that Fenton. <laughs> you know, if, if someone dared use that for a planner, and I don't think they would, but if they did, the only thing you can see is pretty enough for that is an orchid. Like, that's oh, just yeah, me. Oh, yeah, something tall. That's just me. Small, but a beautiful orchid coming out. You know you want it, Christina. 
Um, like, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see that. So do y'all watch late night show talk shows? Yeah, Friday they watch uh, Vintage After Dark with Tam Tam. Yeah, not quite a talk show, I don't think, is it? <laughs> or is it? I don't know. Well, these are retired old fogies here. We have Letterman and Leno. And this is artwork done from a local uh, Houston guy. I don't know what happened to him, but I picked up a lot of his little, he does a lot of these. He hand cuts them and draws them and paints them. It's in his, he was called a JT Art Inc. Was the name of his, I guess, business. But um, does it look like Leno? In his suit. And then we have Letterman. I mean, I remember, and he's in a striped suit. Yeah, I don't striped suit. In stripes. <laughs> David used to watch Letterman all the time. And they're uh, 10 and a half inches tall. And I'm going to do the pair of these for $10, number 48. Just fun, fun characters. I think Christina's calling us a soap opera. <laughs> We're soap opera? As the vintage turns. Well, it wasn't like that episode we had. <laughs> yes, that, that could definitely be us. As the vintage turns. How about a recipe box? This vintage recipe box. The plastic avocado with this Code print. What is that? Um, some kind of, some kind of weed. And this one will. <laughs> now this it had the a tape in here with the lady's name on it. Her name was Denise. Denise something. But I couldn't get the tape out. It's like dried in there, so it needs to be scrubbed out probably. So it has the cards, the alphabet cards, and then it has these cards. Several of those. Well, you can so get that out with Gooby gone and a flat yeah. razor. So this is uh, the green plastic um, recipe box holder that holds those, uh, what, three by five cards. Fun for your vintage kitchen. Do y'all all have vintage kitchens? I'm working on mine. I'm working on it being vintage. And it's going to be $8 and it's number 27. Bill said to stop moving your foot, and the cat won't mess with it. <laughs> well, the dog chased him off. Sue Spezio wants 27. Well, thank you, Sue. Thank you, Sue. Okay, that's that's the dog making all that noise, playing with the ball. Okay, next I have this trinket dish. It is a pin top cushion. I mean, it. I guess this is something that you put in your sewing room, but it don't look like something you'd put in the sewing room with the jewels on it. I'll give it a shot, Sue. She wants me to try and clean it. Okay. And uh, and it has a little trinket compartment. It has buttons in here and a key. That's the way I got it, so that's the way you can have it. Huh? That's. I like that button. Okay, and happened now. You just gave it to him. There's a key to her heart. Or to his secret safety deposit right. box. And I could not read that. It said a C and I couldn't read the rest of it. I took a picture of it and blew it up with my phone. I couldn't tell. But it has jewels on here now. Full disclosure. Let me put this down. So it's the pin cushion, the velvet little pin cushion. It has the pink stones, green stones, and a little pearl. And then on the other side as well, the green stone. But these two stones are missing on this side, the pink stone. So, but nevertheless, it's still a cutie. You can turn that side to the back. And it's heavy. This is kind of a heavy box. It's got some weight to it. 
in this trinket box will be ten dollars and hey, it's number Gina. nine hi gino number nine uh the box, the top here is four inches. The box, the bottom of the box is three inches. So. She thinks she's being funny, Martha, but I'll I'll go ahead and what? give it a shot on cleaning that tape off. Just checking. Oh. I'm being funny about what? No. Uh, oh. Sue about cleaning that box. Oh, okay. So. So did we say we had any sewers out there? Here, I have an original package of a panel. It's a package for us. It's a screen panel design. And it makes a 12 by 12 pillow. And it's of a turtle in a car with his balloons. Hey, Mayberry. And the instructions are still in there and it has the fabric. All you need is a stuffing. But it's a, what did I do with that now? I just had it. But it's brand new in the package. And if you like turtles, driving cars, I think that's a turtle. You think that's a turtle? Could have, oh no, it might be a dinosaur. I, I see you, Joanne. I didn't realize it was a tail. Hand me the trinket box just right. Okay. Thank you. So this. Where's the tail? You get to tag. So this uh, this little kit, and all you need is a stuffing to put it together. It's originally from Wins, W I N N S. Y'all remember that store? It makes a twelve by twelve pillow. It's going to be ten dollars, and it's number thirty-eight. Joanne, I got you for number nine. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Okay. I feel hot. How about a deer planter? He's no, a cutie. No. They can read it, Sue. I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> Mayberry Caboodles. Uh Read what? Nothing. <laughs> Let's just keep going. <laughs> um. Here's a deer planter. It's he is about five and a half inches wide. Let's just say Sue's on fire tonight. See, that's why she's gonna come on live with us after <laughs> after dark, Sue. That's why you're coming I'm on after dark. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you. She has a three by five index card because she bought the recipe box with my name on it, and it'll be the only time I have access to her box. <laughs> but um. So this deer planner, I mean, he's, I haven't seen one like him. Now she said to tell you during pillow talk. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> um, the, the only thing with this one, it has, it's not, I don't understand this. It's, it's like a manufacturer piece. It's, it's not inside the actual ceramic piece. It's on the outside. It's like an additional piece sticking out it's a little rough spot that's not been glazed over but isn't he sweet with those eyelashes it's probably a girl real cute deer planner and we're gonna do this one for $22 number 22 hey Ruthie hi Ruthie are you new here Ruthie how are you doing I'm glad you came Did I give you what you were looking for a while ago? Yes, I got it. Joanne got the little trinket box. How, who likes Tanala? Who likes Tanala? Nobody buys Tanala. Now, this was different. First time I've seen this, or first time I found one, at Mark Mexico. It's a, there's a bird on it. It's a plate. 
looks like a, a dove. deep plate. A dove? Like a dove. And it's kind of deep in, like like an inch, an inch and a half. Really nice, and it's a uh, eight inches, eight and a half inches wide or round. Nice blue color. I thought this was neat. It was. I haven't seen one of these. I always get the figural pieces. Thought that was pretty cool. It has the the back, and it does say Mexico. Um, it's. I don't know if that's an A or a T, A T, the way it's signed. Then Mexico right beside it. So I think it is signed. And this is going to be $24, number 20. Yes, I love these colors. I just found a frog and a snail and two. Um, dove birds so I have those coming up in sales too shallow for cereal yeah but aren't these more look I don't know I guess I, guess I use them I, I figure I would use them as a decorative piece what's going on all the animals are in here in this giant house and they're hanging out in here. They're they're just clacking so around. That one. Okay, this is going to be a. Okay, we got a next another Texas throwdown. We're going to start this out at twenty two dollars. And maybe you get him at twenty two dollars. What are you calling that? A pixie planner. Pixie planner. He is. Hmm. Let's throw it down. Starting at 22. Four and a half inches tall. May Barry, you are 30 miles from Winnie. Oh. Did you, were you there this past weekend? Because I heard Martha and Tammy were having a time with the heat. Yes, we went. We didn't go through all the aisles. It was just too hot. We ended up giving in. Now, when I was looking him up, you know, because I always look to see if there's brands. Somebody was saying McCoy. But there's no marking of a no McCoy. I don't know that it is McCoy. I can't always, you know, rely on those unless I see multiple ones. But um, Ruthie's asking if it's an American bisque. See, mm, is it too glossy for a bisque? I don't know. No, and not that doesn't. doesn't I've seen uh, American I'm, bisque being I'm, glossy. Okay. But uh, it has a flat bottom. Uh, I don't know because. I've seen some of these, but I couldn't, you know, they didn't always say what they were. And I only saw one that said McCoy. I didn't see any saying American Biss. Well, Martha's saying the bottom is not right. Oh, so. for American Biss or for McCoy. So I'm not going to say it's either, but it's a pixie planner, y'all. Come on, Kat. Now his, He's cool. All our stuff is cool. He does have a little <laughs> nick on his toe right here, a small little nick right there. But other than that, I thought he was really sweet. Uh, zoom in on the face. Closer. Closer still. There you go. Elfie, leprechaun, pixie. What is he? For AB, American Biss. Oh. They are, Christina. They're very hot right now. Michelle, mine. I'm still here. You have one? Yeah, So far right now, I'm holding on to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. See, David's starting his own collections. I haven't even started these. Pixie, I think, or Troll. Troll? <laughs> He's too. I don't know. I don't know about Troll. Wouldn't he be under a bridge and not a tree stump? <laughs> <laughs> Trolls kind of look mean and dirty. And to remind you, we're at 22 here, 22 for this planner. But I have, uh, well, here, you show it. You're big. I'm this little, is the one he's. I'm in the corner. He's keeping. He found and he's keeping. And look at that little booty. <laughs> mm. 
He's keeping it for now. He's he's starting his own collection and is on his little shelf that he got. Mm -hmm. So if nobody's interested in this one, we'll move on. So I have a few more things. All of our peoples are gone. Um how about the swing base? Hey Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. You're late, Sabrina. You know, Martha, I don't know if it's Treasure Craft. Um, or the I one you really have? Look, the green one. It looks Treasure yeah, Craft. Yeah, he does. His face but does. But I have to check. I want to double check with the face. Here so I have a, a clear swung vase. Um, and it's eight inches tall. It does have a little white marble like in him. I mean, it's majority clear, but it has does have a couple of little light white streaks going down the uh, fins. Almost like piping. I don't know. What do you call it? It's not etched, is it? It's not etched. It's just inside the glass. It's uh, like they use it's clear and like they use just a little bit of white to detail it or something. I mean, it's might be kind of hard to see uh, the top looks like a flower itself and the base is a fat base and with red ridges it is cool Pamela. it's eight inches tall clear glass let's see i have a i have a flower to put in it Yes. He's kind of big. <laughs> he doesn't know justice. So, this swung vase is $16. Hey, Sarah Lee. And it's number 24. Hi, Sarah Lee. Glad you could join us. Hi, Mayberry. I didn't see you earlier. Have you She's been the here? One outside of Winnie. Oh, okay. Have to meet up, Mayberry. Yeah, we like going to Winnie. You're right, Randy. If it's thicker on the edge, less likely to break or chip. And Ruthie's going to take 24. Thank you, Ruthie. And if uh, if you haven't bought from me before, Ruthie, just email me. My email address is right here, right there. And uh, just email me your um, PayPal, your, your name, address, PayPal information. And if your name's different than your YouTube name, Put that in there so I know who you are. Thank you. And continue shopping. Okay. How about this? I have this. Um, we're going to start this off at $25. It is a brooch. A blue stone, rhinestone, or crystals i i don't know i could not find not one like it it has the teardrops in it and the circles i keep going off the screen here see some circles some teardrops and then in the center these are definitely rhinestones right here and then these might be uh i don't know i'm not going to tell you what the jewelry is I couldn't find a make a signature or nothing on it, so it was hard to say. But I love the color. I love this blue. It's so like cold book blue. And it is um, two inches long and about an inch and a half wide. Hi, Shelly. Glad you could join us. It has a C clamp. Hi, Shelly. Okay. Now I don't want to focus, but it has a C clamp on it. There you go. Very pretty. At first, I thought it was like a dragonfly in the center. Would it be? 
I mean, it looked like that's what the design was trying to do because the rhinestones look at, like a like they were a dragonfly and these were the wings, the teardrops. And we have Joanne at 25. 25. Why do I keep losing the camera? Ooh, hurting my arms. It's a beautiful pen. And the, again, this camera is not probably giving it justice of the colors. Nice, brilliant blue. Because it is more of a cobalt blue. It's a deep blue. So, yep. Joanne at 25. So, if we don't have any down. more takers, then I'll start counting it down. We'll start at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and put sewed in. And that was a workout for my shoulders holding that up. <laughs> and Joanne, thank you, Joanne. Thank it's you, Joanne. yours. It's pretty, it's a very, very nice boy. How about this? Does this look black to y'all? I see a purple tint. This is black. These double swan base planter. It's a planter. Mid-century. It does have its ori original tag on it. Is that a C or a D? What is that? Um, C. See what's it, what's the name? Cam make mark cam mark. Can canny art. Oh, that's an N. I thought it was an M. It's the end of it, yeah. Here's their original. I've never heard this one before. Can canny art mark canny art. Focus camera. I'm glad she's yelling at the camera, not me. Now. There we go. It is an M. Cam mark. I've never heard that before. Oh, let me take this off. So, it's a double swan, black swan. Kmart. Very pretty. Yeah, that's what I thought Kmart, but it's cam mark. Very pretty. Little black swan. <laughs> So this does have, of course, I didn't see it before until I felt it after I'd already, you know, bought it. But uh, it has a little rough edge right there. There's no cracks in it. I mean, but there's a, that's like a chip right there. But it's not on the outside. It's very smooth. But these lovely swans. So, Black Swan Planter is going to be $20, and it's number 36. Black Swan. I don't even know what you would put in that. A black orchid? Yeah, put a succulent in it. Something that I can't kill is what I would put in it. <laughs> Mayberry is going to take that Black Swan Planter. Thank you, Mayberry. 30 miles outside of Winnie. We may have to meet up just to give it to you. Yeah, that way you don't have to pay for shipping. We'll meet you at We'll meet you at Bucky's. <laughs> Let's see. It's a Texas thing, y'all. Yeah. Um You got to throw it down? No. Why don't you fix that one for me? Okay. The dino, dinosaur 
cookie cutters. Ain't that a cool graphic box? I love that. I just love the box alone. And it has the, uh, does anybody bake cookies? This is a good time to do it for your grandkids. Yeah, in the summer? Well, no. I don't like baking during the summer. So inside it has some baggies. I don't know what the baggies were for. And then all your your dinosaurs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six dinosaurs. All in there. And that's what they would look at look like after you paint them. Little cute dinosaur cutter cookie cutters. And this is gonna be ten dollars number forty. Dinosaur cookies. Don't worry, I can't spell Maybe either, Sylvia. In the morning. You're gonna make these in the morning? Yeah, but I don't want is the box open? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Cute little dinosaur cookies. Good tea. Thank you. And what else I have? The napkins. Okay, here I have another a little set of napkins. Let me take this. Now I did have a shop at one time. Christina, you were so right. What? Made for Play Doh. Oh yeah. You're a smart cookie. <laughs> no no <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> uh, smart cookie. Yeah, smart cookie. Stop. <laughs> Stop. One thing I do not allow them in my house, in my toy room, much less anywhere else in the house, is Play slime. No, oh, slime. slime. Oh my god. I do not let them play with slime in my house. They have to take it home, keep it at home. So here we have some cloth flower bright flower napkins there are four of them with the sky blue yellows greens pinks you are smart what are you talking about she says she's smart yes yeah, she <laughs> rub some of that smartness on me and i don't know if these are these handmade i don't know you tell me you're the seamstress. <laughs> no seamstress, but there's a set of four of these, and they're going to be twelve dollars at number forty-six for the four napkins, cloth napkins. Does anybody roll up napkins and put them on their tables anymore? Heck, you can make these into pillows even. Throw pillows. Twelve dollars, number forty-six. Now they're talking about slime, <laughs> and Christina says there's something called Orby balls that are the worst. Or never heard of them. But. And thank you, Joanne. Joanne's gonna take forty-six. Forty-six. Oh, the napkins. Forty-six. Thank you, Joanne. Okay, next I have this. This is heavy for the for what this looks like. It's it's a heavy dish. Got my old sticker on there. It's a cream color with, yeah, it has a gold trim along the edges here. And it has a flowery light trim there. Little platter, little, I mean, a trinket tray dish type. It's, it's nine and a half inches here and then five and a half wide carol we got you for the dinosaur cookie cutters thank you thank you carol oh um thank you carol and david what is this what does that read formalities by barn brothers formalities by barn brothers written in gold on the back but i'm going to throw in this dually because this would look great on top of a dually 
and the dolly's just a little bit longer than it. So I'm throwing this dolly in with it. So this would be a great little, you know, on your dresser, sitting or letting it be your catch-all for your jewelry, your earrings, your, you know, I don't know. What else could we use this for? But I'm throwing the dolly in with it, little white dolly. So it looks pretty when you set it under it or lay over it. And it is going to be $8, number 28. Shelly likes all your raggedy in. Thank you, Shelly. It's one of my many collections I have. Again. Next up, I'm going to do another pin. Okay. Oh. Sabrina is going to take number 28. Thank you, Sabrina. I think this would be cute in a bathroom, too. Next, I'm going to do another doggy pin, a little poodle. Come on, poodle. Do I need white behind you? Yes, that works better. Yeah, there we go. Crazy Eye Poodle. He's got a red nose, red tail, red bow tie, purple fur on his hat, his head, his legs, little purple. No, um, no signature on him. Go tone. Looks like he kind of has a mustache too, or something. Cute little pin, doggy pin. We need to have a day where we all wear brooch. Poodle brooches. <laughs> so this little poodle brooch, and he is one and a half inches tall, and it is a C clamp on the back see the back and he is going to be twelve dollars number thirty for the purple poodle pin no poodle pins in the house that's your second poodle tonight? Yeah, we had two poodles. Two poodles. What? Oh, Shelly Huerta. <laughs> She'll take number 30. Thank you, Shelly. She'll take the poodle. Take the poodle. Give the poodle a home. Adopt a poodle. Next I have up is a kitty cat. A laying, a sleeping kitty cat. It's about as big as my cat. When he's laying down. Or I keep saying that. It's my daughter's cat. He got black markings all over him. With his yellow bow tie on. And what's funny. It's neat. But it's not like you're going to see it. Because this is how you set it on the shelf. Look at his bottom. They put the details. <laughs> of the cat on the bottom. Of his feet. Which was cute. But it's not like you see it. You have to pick it up and look at it. I know, but this is ceramic. This ain't something you play with. It's a, he is about six and a half inches long. And he's about this big. So, cute little kitty cat. He's got, he does have crazing all over him. But He's a crazy cat. Yeah, he's a crazy cat. He's a kind of helps tells his age too because I don't know exactly how old this is so I hope you like crazy but he's a cute little sleeping kitty cat hey you know little shelf sitter and he is eight dollars and he is going to be number 11. Dollars number 11. 
Yeah, Carol, make sure you refresh every now and then and make sure you're in the live chat, not the top chat. Okay. And Leanne will take number 11. Thank you, Leanne. Let me get to these pieces here. Can you go to up? Oh. oh, that cat just scared me. <laughs> He's sitting on my shelf. Cat yeah, on shelf. we got to get used to that. Speaking of cats on the shelf. He's down here on my little bar cart here that I carry all this stuff on. Okay, let's do this one real quick. We got about four things left, and then I'll run through everything for anybody that was late. This is a, what is this, a bicentennial? Bicentennial, yes. Yeah. Mug. 1976. I was four, y'all, when America's... Uh, celebrated its bicentennial. And this is 3D. This is and like added on or something, but it's you know 3D and it's like a little like like feels like a coin. <laughs> and then on the back side, it has this. Read that, David. Can you read that? Yeah. Sean. You want to look at my screen? I'm trying to read it through the screen. It's a well, let me hold it up here while I read it. I'm going to do it with a card. And if you made me big, share with us and over oh. <laughs> in our pride the commemoration of our nation's 200th anniversary from the Lancer Corporation in San Antonio, Texas. A lot of military in San Antonio. Oh, does it say San Antonio on there? Yes. So this, I, I love this part. I thought this is. Sorry, Martha. Be really cool, and it'd be a, uh, it'd be really a uh, cool for the Fourth of July um, decor too. And he is going to be eight dollars, number six for Martha this mug. Martha was three. Uh, Martha was three in high school. And how old were you? Did you say four? Martha she, wasn't three. She told me to shut up, David. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not helping the cause any. Okay, and let's see. Next, I have these. There's three pieces here. It's a sugar and creamer. <laughs> Shut up, Tammy. <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. He just halfway starts talking, and I don't know what the heck he's talking about. I'm reading the chat. So we have a sugar and creamer here, and I love these little designs all around. The fruit, they're fruits. All over it. I'm sure Randy can type in a question, a uh, comment about the fruit. And it's a sugar and creamer and a jam jar. So there's three pieces here. Christina was crapping her diapers during all of that. <laughs> during our. Um, Basaltennial. Did she say that? She's, she actually said she was crapping her diaper. Yeah. Oh, that Christina. <laughs> She's funny. Now this one should have us had a spoon, but you know you can pick up those little miniature spoons. But three pieces: a sugar creamer and I assume a jam jar because it has a little spoon rest or whichever you want to do it. However it goes, the lid has the fruit on the top as well. Very cute. So these three pieces, wait, what is that one? It's going to be $15, number 18. Number 18. $15, number 18 for all three pieces. I think they're kind of cool looking. That'll work. That'll work, Randy. What works? I said he needs to make a comment about the fruit. So he said a little fruit is better than a lot of cream. How's that? <laughs> Don't take y'all long. Works for me. And I still have a a fairy lamp left. What? A fairy lamp and this tin. Let me show this tin real quick. This little green tin is green, Martha. It's green. 
with ladies on it. Now, I wish they could tell the dates more on these things. It's a hinge. It has a hinge lid. Very cool graphics. What are they like? Like, um, what are these ladies? I imagine like my first thought is Wonder Woman, how everybody is all women raised on an island. But no, not like the, the, <laughs> the Amazon women. No, but they're prettier. They're they're dressier. They're more glamorous. Are you saying Amazon women aren't pretty? No, they wear the more sexy outfits. These are wearing more tight ball gowns and stuff. Victorian. Victorian, maybe that is. But there's no men on this tin. There, someone pointed out there, the four seasons on there: spring, winter, oh, it is? on the bottom. Oh, it is. Shows you how much I paid attention. Thank you, sir. Oh, autumn. Yeah, autumn, summer, spring, winter. What is the top? The top. Don't say anything. The top is a vacation. It's hard to read in here. Would that have been like for tea? And what she's blowing? She's a blowing a what kind of flute is that you just set anything up for, for <laughs> randy she's blowing a flute randy exit stage left <laughs> so this 10 is ten dollars 10 is ten dollars for uh number five look at y'all you're smart i'm not even paying attention to the what it said all the way down there so dark in here. What? Oh, number five. Okay. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. ten is the ten is ten dollars. Number five. It is five. pretty, very pretty. Is that okay. For tea though, the chocolates or tea. And then the last thing I have is this um, Tierra Amber Fairy Lamp. Now, if we have more than one person's interested in this. We can do a throwdown, but other than that, I'm going to give a flat price. So if more than one person puts in a number, then it will go into a throwdown. But other than that, what I'm going to, he's doing the lights. And not that great in um, amber, but these are cool lights. If you can tell the color change of the light. But those little bulb things are really cool. See it flashing? It's Tierra, 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 uh, Tierra. Uh, Amber Fairy Lamp. An egg shaped dome looking thing. Close up on that. Closer still. And I'm sure you've seen these. These are some of the com more common ones, like the Indiana glass ones. You got a red light going on in there now. It's orange. Oh, is that orange? Yeah. Well, it's going to be twenty-eight dollars. Number seventeen. It's magic, Christina. Magic. <laughs> it's those little. It's these little lights. The clapper. And 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 you can you can buy a set of these little lights, and it, this remote control will control it. It's really cool. And it comes with, I don't know, it came with like six of these bulbs. And this controls all of them at one time. But it was really cool. You can turn that off now. Oh. And it's not blue, so it's not mine. So this uh, fairy lamp is $28, number 17. Send one to Canada. <laughs> You've never seen a fairy lamp in Seattle? Wow. Wow. The remote she, remote lights are cool. Yeah. Christina wants a, a set of lights. <laughs> okay. So that's it. Now I can run through real quick on everything if you're interested. For those who showed up late, let me know. I'm going to run through it anyways because yeah, a, a few of you showed up late. May I have some wine so I don't have to get up? Oh, you want some of mine? Yes. I don't know if I share my wine. I like to drink my wine. 
Uh, this wine makes me hot. Ooh. And eat that clippy. Wow. So. That wasn't one of my wines. <laughs> it was or wasn't? I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're going to go through here quick. And if you want to see something closer up, buckle let me up. Know. Yeah. Here we go. You be ready. So, two, um, I called them hankies, but they're probably more of a napkin. Small napkin. Because they're, 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 they're pretty thicker. Sturdy. Yeah, they're thicker than a hanky. But they're embroidery all the way around. Really sweet. I don't know what people do with them nowadays. I'm going to make a quilt one day because I have a collection of those thin hankies. So these are six dollars, number forty-seven, and I say I'm going to go through here quick. I got to find everything as I pull it up. We had the Florida salt and pepper shakers. Very MCM and mid-century modern. Very tall. And they have the S and P on the top. And they Either. are regional. They say Florida. Pink flamingos, palms. Pink flamingos. Thank you, Sarah Lee. You're taking the napkins. Thank you, Sarah. Lee. Lee, Sarah Lee. Yes. Um, so those they're six and a half inches tall. Boom, boom. And then we have uh, the little tiger panther. I said tiger panther. What is <laughs> little orange tiger wall pocket for your chopsticks? For your chopsticks, your pencils, your you paintbrushes. You. He's this big. He's six inches tall. For your kids' art room to put their paintbrushes in and matte pencils. That's right, Martha. If you don't want Florida on your salt and pepper shakers, turn them around. Turn them around. <laughs> and then we have next is this. This pale pink. I turn off my light. Is is it is the light okay? Can y'all oh. can y'all still see me fine? Yeah. Cause I turned it off for the fairy lamp. The shell pink. But that looks more white now. I mean clear. Does it look? It's, it's got a light tint of pink. There. It's a light shell pink kind of footed bow great for m ms it's a pretty deep bow or a soap dish or Cat wants to know how much for the um, tiger the tiger was tiger is 14 dollars number 14 for the tiger pocket wall pocket and then this dish 12 dollars number 25 then Christina, you're on fire tonight. You and uh, Sue. Yeah, they're going to be a hoot. We don't have nobody for this Friday, Sue, so if you want to come. This is $10, a little Cat trinket dish. Well. Oh my goodness. Two by two. And <laughs> the Chalkware Carnival Cat. Chalkware, he's a carnival prize from the 30s. Cute little cat. He's six and a half inches tall. Then we had the owl figurines. The mama and baby owl. They were $14 for the pair. Number three, one's seven inches tall and the other one's three and a half inches tall. Then we have the, um, the barrettes. $10 for the set. Number 19. $10, number 19. No, fly out there.
Then we have the uh, double hearted pin brooch. Getting a little closer. There you go. It's twelve dollars, number thirty-two. Okay, let's get it over. There we go. Twelve dollars, number thirty-two, for the double hearted brooch. Then the, the booby, the booby ashtray, the Nova booby mid-century <laughs> bubble ashtray. This thing's heavy. It's got some weight. Fourteen dollars, number thirty-four. Was that an estate sold find? Uh, I don't remember. I, I can imagine it being somewhere in Friendswood or something. Yeah, where, around NASA. I had two of them, the space and I was holding on with that one for a little while. Here, Here comes one. another Look poodle. Um, the Fenton hobnail shoe. It's eleven dollars, number twenty-six. Y'all still there, right? They're still here. <laughs> eleven dollars, number twenty-six. Y'all stop talking. And then the black poodle enamel pin is twelve dollars, number thirty-one. Twelve dollars, number thirty-one. They have their side conversations going on a text. I'm sure they're in an AOL chat room. <laughs> an AOL. Y'all remember AOL? I do. Well, you do. That's when we first got a computer. I remember. Cat's cooking. <laughs> And then we had the firefighter mugs for the pair of them, eight, uh, $10, number 33. Oh, they're watching Katie too. I got to go back and rewatch that. With D. And see, y'all learning how to double watch double screens, huh? Or on your phone and the computer. You used to work at NASA, Sarah Lee? Then we had the uh, crochet or macrame needlepoint purse with the with the apple on it. We have a son that still has AOL. Uh, email. Has an AOL email. <laughs> it's hilarious. And then we had the. Uh, the 16 by 16 picture frame of a baby carriage, the cruel hand down. Um, try not to mess up my wine. I mean, knock over my wine here. No. It is $40, number 44. $40, number 44. The two birds. The um or I forgot the name of it already. What did I say, David? The um the here. Um or uh the what is it? What did you read? Oh, Ulta Gary, Ulta Gary. Two birds. Sixteen dollars, number fifteen. Sixteen dollars, number fifteen. Ulta Gary. I don't know why I want to keep forgetting that. The flower power. Here, I'm gonna do this one a little. The flower power, which I can hang these in my bathroom. It'd be cute. I like the flowers. Twelve dollars, number forty-five. Twelve dollars for the two-piece, number forty-five. And 
in the Fenton, pink Fenton, white base, ruffle flower, $22, number 23. You're going to make me list a lot of stuff on Etsy. I'm trying to avoid all the description stuff. Shelly wants 31, the black, the brooch, the black poodle. Thank you, Shelly. And so this was, what number was that? Uh, 31. 31, and then we have uh, Mr. L. Page. Randy wants 45. I'm going to do it right there. 45. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy. And then the then we have a uh, Christina for number twenty three. Thank you, Christina. Fan's gonna blow my stuff away. And then anybody into wood art, local wood art. Make great gag gifts, would it not? They're 10 inches, 10 and a half inches tall. $10 for the pair, number 48. Number 48, $10 for the pair. And then the pillow kit. Probably one of his rooms, yeah. Randy said you had to be careful what room you walk you uh, got in in the AOL chats. Oh. So it's probably one of his rooms. <laughs> Too bad they don't have chat rooms anymore. Some of them were kind of out there. But I learned I used to be in a photography chat room when AOL was on. So the pillow kit. Sorry. Sorry talking. $10. Whatever number that was, 38. Uh, the deer planter. A cute little deer planter. $22, number 22. Little fawn, fawn or deer. You got pink, pink ears, pink feet. Barbara and Bundo is going to take the deer. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. And the Tanala bow plate was $24, number 20. Now, I've always found the figure old. I found a teapot once. That was the first time that was unusual. And this was the first time I found one of these. So I thought that was neat. Tanala bird. And then we have our pixie planner. It's going to be $22, number 21. $22. It was one of my throwdowns. So. It'll be twenty-one for twenty-two dollars. And the eagle mug. What do I do with He's eight dollars. Number six. And then the, the three-piece sugar creamer and the jam. Jam jar. $15. Ooh, careful that lid. That lid makes me nervous. <laughs> $15 for the three pieces, number 18. $15, all three pieces, number 18. And the green tin can was 
ten dollars number five Yeah, Martha mentioned those were the Valvis Four Seasons. Valvis. The Valvis. And then the Fairy Lamp. Fairy Lamp <laughs> was twenty-eight dollars, number seventeen. The, the glass egg-looking thing. The glass egg-looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? And I think that was everything. Everything, y'all. Right. Yes. Put this back over here. Is is Katie and um D still on? Yeah, they probably are. It's ten o'clock. Nine o'clock. Well, that was everything. I thank y'all for coming. We and survived the thunderstorm. I was, <laughs> I was uh hoping the uh. No, did Shelly buy the fairy lamp? Well, I didn't see no. Hold on. Do, 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 do. What number did you have on it? The fairy lamp was 17. I don't recall seeing anybody's name. Oh. Is Shelly still here? The fairy lamp was number 17. Oh, she put 28. What was 28? That was a trinket dish. Sabrina got that. Sabrina, you put 28 and you got that. It was a trinket dish. Trinket dish. Shelly put 28. Oh, she want. Oh, she put 28 like the price. Do you see that? I think I did. Okay, so it was you put 28 the price, but it it's uh, number 17. So Shelly, you want the fairy lamp? All right, Sue, so email me. Thank you, Sue. Okay, thank you. So, Shelly, you want this? Just verify with me. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Good catch. Good catch, Sabrina. David didn't catch that. David. He's bad. He's so bad. I'm going in the corner now. Thank you, Shelly. I am making him read the chat for me and write everything on my papers so I can keep moving. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. And again, if you had, Shelly, you might have bought from me before. But if y'all haven't bought from me before, send me an email what's with your, your info. What's your David getting spanking? Don't you to calm down. <laughs> calm down. Thank you, Barbara. I'm glad you came. We're going to be here tomorrow night, too. Uh, well, no, we're going to be on Vintage Conversation. She's in the chat right now. We're going to be on her uh, channel tomorrow night at um, what time? I think eight central. If you are if you are on, on Instagram, add us on Instagram so you can see all of our notifications. So y'all come see us tomorrow on Vintage Conversations channel. It's going to be two Texans with a little tacky on the side. It's not David. Is somebody else it's daniel he's a little tacky too but it'd be daniel with tacky as me so that will be tomorrow and then friday vintage after dark y'all bye cat with uh christina and picasso cat's going to join us next week you going to martha's house Tammy? am i going to martha's house for the sale oh my there's her uh there's her link so y'all click on that and add um add her subscribe to her channel so y'all can see our sale tomorrow it'd be much better because we're more talkative there because david's not that talkative. it's girl time and they have so much fun they have all their little jokes and and a fun time to be had by all <laughs> 
great. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. So I'm going to, I'm going to go watch a, even after uh, Katie's done with her show and tell, she's doing a sale tonight with um, Trusty Huckster. Oh, cool. But I don't know what channel they're on, actually. So, Probably Patrick's. Because I'm, I have to keep looking at things. I can't never remember nothing. But y'all, thank y'all for coming. And be sure to come here every Wednesday night at the same time, same channel. And visit with us, even if you don't buy anything. If you haven't subscribed and you are new, thanks for coming in. Subscribe. Sarah Lee's asking if it's six, if what is at six Pacific um, for tomorrow night. When are y'all starting? Uh, we're starting, Martha. Did you say when we're starting? I think it's at eight. Where's my calendar? Then it's then it's it'll be six Pacific time. Is it six? Okay, so it is no. six Pacific You're right, time. You're right, it's at six. Oh, Martha, it's on. Uh, so Patrick will be on Katie's channel. Okay. Uh, eight. Yeah, we're starting eight o'clock Central, nine o'clock Eastern, and six o'clock Pacific. 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 Picasso Cat saying that Vintage Digs and Calypso Cat are late tonight. Oh, they're going to be on late tonight too. Bye, Michelle. Thank you. Bye, Jeannie. Thank you, Jeannie. We'll see you next time. Y'all come back and see us tomorrow, you guys. There you go. Okay. Martha, put it in for us. Okay. So we have 12 people in here. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for coming. And I hope David gets better. I'll get better. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have Martha over here helping me. Martha ain't going to want to. All right, guys, we'll let y'all go and we'll see uh, see y'all in the next chat. I'll see y'all online or on my channel next time. Bye. Bye, y'all. Thanks for coming.